Yikes. So a couple weeks ago, I did a Windows upgrade. I'm already on Windows 10. I think it was one of their, uh, let's see, this is November. This is December. I think in November, there was some kind of a, kind of a major update. So after the update, I went on as normal. I'm a developer and uh, doing a lot on the computer, doing a lot on my hard drive. And I'm going to bring up Windows Explorer here and show you what I saw. So I was looking at my hard drive here. I've got a couple different hard drives. And I know, let me maximize this thing here. And I noticed that I only had 19.8 gig left. I'm thinking, you know what? I had a lot more than that before the upgrade. How did I lose so much space? So this goes back. Maybe even to XP, certainly Vista and 7 and 8, where Windows or Microsoft will keep a backup of very critical files. And that way, if you have to do a restore or whatever, you could you could go back. Well, uh, I don't plan on going backwards. I'm only going forwards. So I want to clean this stuff up. All right. So one of the ways that you clean up your hard drive in general is to uh, find it. And I'm going to right click it and do properties all right this brings up a dialog box and right in the middle of the first screen the general tab here there's a disk cleanup now it may take a few minutes depending on your uh, I've actually got it over here on the other screen here so depending on how much space you have and how much is used and it does all this calculating stuff uh, I'll skip through it here so you don't have to see all this stuff okay so I jumped ahead here, and this is kind of the standard disk cleanup dialog box that it brings up. You can Most of this stuff on here, you could probably just check everything. If you want to free up some space, I've got some temporary internet files, some error reporting. Uh, I've got some stuff in my recycle bin, temporary files. Not a lot here, all right? So this is your standard doing a disk cleanup every week or two or whatever. But I still don't see a lot of space right there, all right? So if you come over here to, or come down here to clean up system files, if there's anything to clean up, in fact, that button may not even show if you don't have anything to clean up. But again, it's going to think again and bring up a box and it's, let me drag it back over here. I've got two screens, so certain dialog boxes uh, show up where they were last left. So again, I'll go ahead and skip through this and we'll just jump right to the next dialog box. Okay, so I skipped ahead to the to the enhanced disk cleanup thing. And I've actually got some of uh, the items that came over from the previous screen, but uh, I've got some, uh, I was using Windows Defender, so I'm gonna go ahead and check through this because I do wanna clean it up. Windows upgrade log file. So I guess essentially, if you really don't plan on going backwards, uh, or you're having trouble, maybe you want to keep them around, but otherwise you really want to clean this stuff up. So if you if you notice here, if I scroll down a little bit, uh, there's some dump files. Uh, not a big deal, but here's where it gets interesting. Previous Windows installation, 27.6 gig. So if you do any kind of research on the internet, you'll find that basically Microsoft archived off your Windows folder and named it Windows.old. And again, if you don't plan on going backwards, get rid of it. All right. I'm going to go ahead and clean up my recycle bin while I'm here. Other temporary files and hit hit OK. Once I hit OK, it'll ask you to confirm it by hitting the delete files and you're off to the races. So again, depending on how much it's going to take, how much you have to clean up, it'll take a while. All right. So uh, I'll end the video here. Good luck on cleaning this up. If you like this video, um, Make a comment or subscribe to my channel. Visit my blog at SeanGoins.com. Uh, I'm just getting it started. Uh, I'm just starting it up. All right. I'm a developer. I'm a techie. I really want to provide stuff that helps. So I promise to keep it helpful and exciting. So uh, share the word. I'm also doing a new uh, Udemy video on Shutterfly sites. So if you're one of the fortunate, say, first hundred that sign up on my, my blog, I'll... Uh, I'll do a special coupon to, to give that away for free. All right, so take care. Uh, next time.